those people still on the bus? When you went past the first time, is that going up to them or coming back? Do you remember? I didn't notice it coming, like going up there. So coming back, you saw the bus with people on it. When you say people on it, just one person or? Um, I think there was a couple of people on it. There might have been a couple of people standing off of it as well. Just the one bus? Yeah, there was only one bus there. Oh. Right, I. Is there anything else you can recall about that day that you saw or anything? What vehicle were you driving that day? The uh, white Pajero. You still got that car? Yes, I did. And that's the one that was inspected by police on the round about the 22nd or something? It was the 20th. This was Christmas Day. Christmas Day, they but boy, it took your car. Yeah, because I went down to my mum and dad's place on Boxing Day and I had to wash it and get all the fingerprint dust and stuff. Oh, right. So you're a little bit annoyed. Was it a little bit of a mess when you got it back? Yeah, well, they did a pretty good job of cleaning it, but there's still fingerprint dust all over the inside of it. Uh, did you volunteer your DNA or did the police up that were investigating ask you about your DNA? Um, the first two officers that came out and spoke to me at home asked if they could take photos and DNA. Yeah, and you had no objection to that? Yeah. Have you seen the conflicts that have been released in relation to this? Yeah. You've seen them on TV? Yeah. Do you think you look anything like those conflicts? Well, I saw one of them. <laughs> but, yeah. Has anyone that said anything to you about it? No, but yeah, actually, one of them actually looks more like my brother than looks like me. Oh, okay. Where did your brother live? Um, in Brisbane, just up past Everton Park. Oh, yeah. Our brother. He wasn't up the coast at the time, was he? No. Oh, anything else you want to cover? When, when like we initially spoke to you, the, the times are all a bit, you know, you were saying it could have been this time, could have been that time. Yeah. You seem a bit more certain about time at the moment. Just with what you used to show me, like the phone calls and that. Right. But I knew I wasn't home any later than three o'clock. Is there anything that, that can tell us that? that like, is there any, anything at all that, say, that you can say, well, I know I was, I was home by three because? Um, only that it doesn't take that all that long to go up and back. Mm. If, if the suggestion was, and this is an inference, you know, mind you, people review what we do in relation to this job and, and come up with suggestions or, or possibilities. Yep. If the suggestion was that you weren't home till three, um, and let's face it, there's been a couple of, uh, I think Tracy says it was three o'clock, but she wasn't real sure, etc., etc. There's a bit of a gap in time that we're a little bit concerned, not concerned about, but a little bit interested to try and work out if we can narrow that time down a little bit yep. to A, protect, probably to give you um, your version more credibility, or secondly, from our point of view, um, to see if we can't, if, if there's something that says, well, hang on, Brett was home a bit later than that, and we know that because of this, yep. all of a sudden we've got a bit of a problem with our times. Do you understand why yep. you're, inter you're of interest to us? Yep. Um, is there anything at all that you can, you can Tell us something. The only thing I can say is what I said last, like back in the other interviews, is the traffic cameras that are around, like the one in Beaver and everything, that's, mm. that's it. So anyway, I'll be able to clarify it. We have a number of, a number of our witnesses. We've got quite a few people that, are, that saw Daniel under the, the overpass yeah. and saw a vehicle parked nearby and some people talking to him. You're, the time that you've gone past, so you indicate if you went past at, at say five past two, we have a number of witnesses that say that, that they saw those things there. You're, you're adamant that you didn't see anything there. I didn't see anybody or any cars or anything there. Not that I was really paying attention to anything like that. But... Mm. How often would you go to the church? I hadn't been for quite a few months before that but did you feel comfortable going to the church there's no reason why you wouldn't go there or now then oh right, then and yeah, no. i did go like i might have gone once and you had a rally or something or i had no problem 
pastors at the church. Oh. How often did you see them? Every Saturday and Sunday, or every Sunday that I was at church. Like before that, I'd go. To, I was going to church Saturday, Sunday morning and Sunday night. Right. Okay. And um, something was preached over the pulpit that I didn't agree with, and went and spoke to the pastor there, and he wouldn't change his mind. So and that's your uncle? No, a no, different one. He's my uncle's and only the. Like they're the head pastors, but they're under the pastors that do the preaching off the stage on Sunday. Okay. All right. And what are the times for the church services? Can you Nine remember? in the morning and six at night, I think it was. Is there another one at lunchtime? No. Not one at 11 o'clock? Okay. Just a lot of people, as Mark said, and if you sat on your left home at one, you'd have been driving past that overpass at about two o'clock. No. If you left home at one, right. you're down at the place at 20 to 2. Wouldn't you're in there 10 yeah, minutes, yeah, at 10 yeah, to 2 yeah. you leave that place, you'd be going yeah. at that home past 2, yeah. 5 past 2. Coming That's when all the activity is happening, you know. It's yeah. when Daniel was there. All of our witnesses are in that period, and they all say that there's there's a bit of activity under that. You know what I mean? And we, what, we, what I'm interested to know is you nominated yourself, you, you, you contacted us and said, I was. Well, Total coppers that you went with through under that time. No, I didn't contact you. So you Sorry, the coppers come to you and said, and you said that yeah. there was, you nominated that you were there. Yeah. And in that period of time is, is, the, is the money time for us because someone has taken that child yeah. in that time and got you in the area. We're not, the, the problem with us is this is not going anywhere. We can't. Go, we can't write this off and say, well, there's definitely not Brett Cowan, to a point, because um, until we can get our, our times right or, or something extra that's going to say, well, this is why he was named at 2.30. Because the best we can get from Tracy is she believed it was about three, which gives us at least half an hour, that anything could happen within half an hour. And uh, we don't have, we only have your word to say that, that that you went a certain way home, you went this way home, and that was the time, etc. You, you see what, I'm, see what we get now? Well, that's what I was saying about um, the traffic cameras and everything. Mm. Uh, but when you say traffic cameras, what, which one? Which one? Well, you've got the one as an airball turn off, like going up. The mine for the traffic flow. Yeah. yeah. Um, you got the one down at Cloundra, you've got the one past Cloundra turn off, and you've got one in Deal. Mm. I'll go past them all. That's the only. Well, Did you get fuel that day? No. Where were you purchasing your fuel at that time? Near more petroleum. Did you ever get fuel out on weekends? Yep. Quite often. Mm. And it, most of the time I'd go to the Near more depot, but otherwise it could be in Richardor or Calandra. Mm -hmm. And what's that entail? You, you, you just swap the car. car. Yeah. Get, it, get it monthly. Get it monthly bills. Yeah. Did you, did you have any bank accounts around that time? No, Tracy had all bank accounts. Oh, I might have had a son called account. And who's not? My name. Only for the sole purpose of my wages to be put into by Trevor. Okay, I can So we know, look, the only thing that clarifies in your mind what time you left home is these phone calls, yeah? yeah. Like a 10 to 1 you've run up. Davis, and then you say you left virtually straight away, and then obviously um, when you make the call from at uh, 12:58, which is like two minutes to one, you called from a mobile to your landline, which means you're probably mobile in the car at that time, leaving at one. <laughs> no, so we basically got you leaving home before one o'clock, five to one or something. Do you, you now that I've told you that you've called Tracy at home? Do you remember what the conversation was? Like, did you have to stop at a shop? Did she say, can you get something? Did you ring her and say, do you want something? I can't remember. You didn't stop at any shops? No. You didn't see anyone you knew driving down the road? No. What was the nature of the conversation you had with the person you picked the mulcher up from? Were they staying home? Were they going out? No, they were going, yeah. All right. So you weren't there very long, were you? I don't want to close it, but at least with Clara Folder Brett, he's probably on the road by five to one. Mm. And he's definitely home by three. Do you carry your mobile in the yard? Yep. So you would have it on your yep. What how many phone how many numbers would you have in your in your quick dial thing? 
ten, because that's who I'm lying. Not that many? I've got, I had shitloads of phone numbers on my phone. But Back at that time? Yeah, but only nine on speed dial. This was the, there was only one call recorded on the phone that day. Yeah, but I'm just... Oh, you mind, there was only one call. I'm just thinking it was bumped. Yeah. Who are you still in the yard at one o'clock? Who you just had it locked, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the thing not locked or physically yeah. start. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you'd like to say about it, Rick? No. Alright. Oh, I'll draw the landline phone number for me. For now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll be good if you can give me that. 02 6679 yeah. 5081. You got no problem with us ringing there? No. No, I'm just speak to Donna or me, don't speak to the kids. No, no, no. Don't let them know. Oh, no, it's not in place. No, no. Okay, um, anything else? 66795081. You took part in this interview of your own free will? Yes, I did. And what you told me here today being the truth? Yes, it has. If you had abducted Daniel, would you tell me? Probably not. Alright, no worries. We'll terminate the interview at uh, 4.09.